हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर तृप्ति एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंजॉय बायो केमिस्ट्री एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट शैल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब बायो सिंथेसिस ऑफ पायरीमिडीन न्यूक्लियोराइड्स विथ इट्स रेगुलेशन एंड एसोसिएटेड डिसऑर्डर्स पायरीमिडीन्स आर सिंपल अरोमेटिक कंपाउंड्स कंपोज ऑफ कार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन आइटम्स इन अ सिक्स मेंबर्ड रिंग एंड द नंबरिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एन एन इज नंबर्ड एज वन सी एस टू This n is numbered as three, four, five, and six. It is six-member ring. And this n one, c four, c five, and c six. The they are contributed by aspartate. C two is contributed by carbon dioxide, and n three is contributed by glutamine. The synthesis of this pyrimidine is simple. Similar as compared to purines, pyrimidine ring is synthesized as free pyrimidine, unlike purine, and later it is incorporated into nucleotide. There are three pyrimidine bases: cytosine, uracil, and thymine. This is the structure of cytosine, which is also called as 2-oxy-4 amino pyrimidine because at position 2 oxygen is present and position 4. amino group is attached and it is present in both dna and rna this is the structure of uracil which is also called as 2,4 dioxy pyrimidine due to presence of oxygen both at second and fourth position and this uracil is present in rna only thymine is called as 2,4 dioxy 5 methyl pyrimidine because at position 2 and 4 oxygen are present and at fifth position methyl group is attached and thymine is exclusively present in the dna now when this pyrimidine base is linked to the ribose sugar or pentose sugar it is called as nucleoside and if the sugar is ribose sugar and phosphate group is attached then it is called as ribonucleotide and if it is a deoxyribose sugar then the nucleotide will be deoxyribonucleotide so what is the difference between nucleoside and nucleotide so when nitrogenous base is linked to the ribose sugar it is called as nucleoside and along with this if there is presence of phosphate group it becomes nucleotide and if the pentose sugar is ribose sugar it is called as ribonucleotide and if pentose sugar is deoxyribose sugar it is called as deoxyribonucleotide so the nucleoside if cytosine is the pyrimidine base the nucleoside will be cited in The ribonucleotide cytidylate and deoxyribonucleotide is deoxycytidylate. If uracil is the pyrimidine base, then nucleoside is uridine, and the ribonucleotide will be uridylate or uridine monophosphate. If thymine is the pyrimidine base, then nucleoside is called as thymidine, and deoxyribonucleotide is called as deoxythymidylate or deoxythymidine monophosphate. Now let's begin with the pyrimidine biosynthesis step one. In the step one, glutamine transfers its amido group to carbon dioxide by the action of enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthase two, which is also called as CPS two, to form carbamoyl phosphate. So in this first reaction, carbamoyl phosphate is synthesized, and this is ATP dependent reaction. Two ATPs are utilized here, and after donating the amido group, the glutamine is released as glutamate this carbamoyl phosphate synthase 2 it is the cytosolic enzyme atp and phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate these are the activators of this enzyme cps2 and utp is the inhibitor there is one more enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthase 1 and this is important in the urea cycle and the location is mitochondria so the carbamoyl phosphate synthase 1 in mitochondria it catalyzes the formation of carbamoyl phosphate from carbon dioxide and ammonia here also two atps are utilized and the activator is n acetyl glutamate so now let's see some differences between these two important enzymes carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 which leads to formation of carbamoyl phosphate in the urea cycle and carbamoyl phosphate synthase 2 which leads to formation of carbamoyl phosphate in the pyrimidine biosynthesis so as i have mentioned cps1 
it is the enzyme of urea synthesis and CPS2 is the enzyme of pyrimidine synthesis. CPS1 is present in the mitochondria. Urea cycle occurs in the mitochondria first step and CPS2 it is present in the cytosol. So this step one of pyrimidine biosynthesis it takes place in cytosol. CPS1 requires cofactor that is N-acetylglutamate. Unlike this CPS2 where no cofactor is required. In case of CPS1 the nitrogen donor is ammonia. So carbamyl phosphate derives its nitrogen from the ammonia while in case of CPS2 glutamine is the nitrogen donor. There is no inhibitor of CPS1 and the inhibitor of CPS2 is UTP. So these are some differences which are very important between CPS1 and CPS2. Step 2 and step 3 of pyrimidine biosynthesis involves formation of carbamyl aspartate and dihydroorotate. We have already seen the first step where there is formation of carbamyl phosphate by the action of enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthesis 2. Now in the second reaction this carbamyl phosphate condenses with aspartate to form carbamyl aspartate. This reaction is catalyzed by aspartate transcarbamylase and the third reaction the enzyme dihydroorotase it catalyzes the pyrimidine ring closure. So there is ring closure in the third reaction and there is loss of water and there is this leads to formation of dihydroorotate. So in the first step there is formation of carbamyl phosphate in the second step carbamyl aspartate is formed and in the third step dihydroorotate is formed and these three enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthase 2 aspartate transcarbamylase and dihydroorotase. These three enzymes are the domains or functional units of the same protein and this is the good example of multifunctional enzyme and this is abbreviated as CAD CAD C stands for carbamyl phosphate synthase 2 A for aspartate transcarbamylase and D for dihydroorotase. Fourth step of pyrimidine biosynthesis is formation of orotate from dihydroorotate. This reaction is catalyzed by enzyme dihydroorotate dehydrogenase and in this process NAD is reduced to NADH. In the fifth reaction ribose 5-phosphate is added to the orotate to form orotidine monophosphate that is OMP and this reaction is catalyzed by orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and PRPP is the ribose 5-phosphate donor. This PRPP is derived from the first reaction of purine biosynthesis that is formation of phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate from ribose 5-phosphate by the action of enzyme phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthetase. So from the orotate there is formation of OMP that is orotidine monophosphate in the fifth reaction of pyrimidine biosynthesis. Then sixth reaction is the decarboxylation reaction where carbon dioxide is released and this reaction is catalyzed by OMP decarboxylase to form uridine monophosphate that is UMP and both this enzyme the orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and OMP decarboxylase they are the domain of same protein they are the bifunctional enzyme and if there is any defect in this enzyme it leads to increase concentration of orotate and it further excretes in the urine and it is called as orotic aciduria. In the seventh step of pyrimidine biosynthesis UDP is formed from uridine monophosphate that is UMP. This is ATP dependent reaction catalyzed by kinase. Now this UDP serve as precursor for UTP and CTP. So in the eighth reaction there is formation of UTP from UDP and ninth reaction is formation of CTP that is cytidine triphosphate and in this condition uh, the amino group is donated by glutamine and this reaction is catalyzed by CTP synthetase. From this UDP, deoxy UDP is formed by ribonucleotide reductase. This is thyroidoxy dependent reaction. Then there is formation of deoxy UMP and the deoxy TMP is formed from deoxy UMP and here the methyl group donor is N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate and this reaction is cat catalyzed by thymidylate synthetase. 
Coming to the regulation of pyrimidine in biosynthesis, the carbamoyl phosphate synthase 2 that is CPS2 catalyzes formation of carbamoyl phosphate and this is the regulatory enzyme of this pathway. This is activated by ATP and phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate and inhibited by UTP. The other enzyme OMP decarboxylase uh, which leads to formation of UMP from OMP that is uridine monophosphate from orotidine monophosphate. It is also regulated or inhibited by UMP and CMP. Thus, the pyrimidine biosynthesis is regulated at two steps. First, a reaction where, which is catalyzed by carbamoyl phosphate synthase 2 and the other reaction is the reaction which is catalyzed by OMP decarboxylase. The pyrimidine nucleotides undergo similar reactions like dephosphorylation, deamination and cleavage of glycosidic bond like that of purine nucleotide to liberate the nitrogenous base cytosine, uracil and thymine. And these bases are later degraded to highly soluble products like beta-alanine. For example, from cytosine uracil, beta-alanine is formed. It is highly soluble. And from thymine, ultimately, beta-amino isobutyrate is formed. And these are the amino acids which undergo transamination and other reaction to finally produce acetyl-CoA and succinyl-CoA. And the pseudouridine cannot be metabolized further and it is excreted as such in the urine. There are various anti-cancer drugs which are the inhibitors of pyrimidine biosynthesis for example methotric Z5 fluorouracil. So the reaction where deoxy TMP is formed from deoxy UMP and this reaction is catalyzed by thymidylate synthetase. Methyl group donor is N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate and after the after it donates its methyl group dihydrofolate is formed. And from this dihydrofolate, tetrahydrofolate can be recovered uh, with the help of dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. And then this tetrahydrofolate is required again to form n 5 n 10 methylene tetrahydrofolate. So this dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, it is inhibited by the drug methotrexate. And by inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase, it inhibits the enzyme that is thymidylate synthetase, which is involved in the formation of deoxy TMP and thus it inhibits uh, DNA synthesis and acts as anti-cancer drug. The another drug 5-fluorouracil it competitively inhibits the enzyme thymidylate synthetase. The enzyme of sixth step that is OMP decarboxylase it is inhibited by the anti-cancer drug 6 azauridine So these are the various inhibitors which act as anti-cancer drug and these are the inhibitors of pyrimidine biosynthesis. Coming to the disorder of pyrimidine metabolism that is orotic aciduria and this orotic aciduria is caused due to absence of either or both the enzyme orotate phosphoribosyl transferase which catalyzes the formation of OMP from orotate and OMP decarboxylase which catalyzes formation of UMP from OMP. This is the autosomal recessive condition due to lack of feedback inhibition there is increase Orotic acid production, retarded growth and due to defective DNA synthesis, megaloplastic anemia can occur. Crystals are excreted in urine and crystalluria may cause urinary tract infection. This condition can be managed by feeding cytidine or uridine. So this cytidine and uridine, these compounds, they provide pyrimidine nucleotides which are required for DNA and RNA synthesis. And besides this, the UTP inhibits carbamoyl phosphate synthesis 2 and blocks the synthesis of orotic acid. Now let's understand why the ornithin transcarbamylase deficiency leads to orotic aciduria. Ornithin transcarbamylase is the enzyme of urea cycle. It catalyzes the second reaction of urea cycle that is formation of citrulline from ornithin and carbamyl phosphate. So if this enzyme is defective then citrulline cannot be formed and there is increased concentration of carbamyl phosphate in the mitochondria which then enters in the cytosol and this increased carbamyl phosphate is channeled uh, in the pyrimidine synthesis and there is overproduction of orotic acid which leads to orotic aciduria which is called as secondary orotic aciduria. So thus the ornithine transcarbomylase deficiency leads to orotic aciduria. Now let's summarize today's topic of pyrimidine biosynthesis. In the first step which is catalyzed by carbamyl phosphate synthetase 2, the amido group from glutamine is transferred to carbon dioxide to form carbamoyl phosphate. This is 
this reaction is activated by atp and atp and phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate are the activator of a cps2 enzyme and utp is inhibitor so the regulation of pyrimidine biosynthesis occurs at this first step in the second step carbamoyl aspartate is formed and this reaction is catalyzed by aspartate transcarbamoylase third reaction there is formation of pyrimidine ring and it leads to formation of dihydroorotate by the action of enzyme dihydroorotase these three enzymes that is cad c for carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 2 a for aspartate transcarbamoylase and d for dihydroorotase these are the domains of single protein and that's why they are called as multifunctional enzyme which can be abbreviated as cad cad now in the fourth reaction it is the dehydrogenation reaction where orotate is formed and this reaction is catalyzed by dihydroorotate dehydrogenase in the fifth reaction orotate phosphoribosyl transferase catalyzes this reaction to form omp here ribose 5 phosphate is added to the orotate and phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate is the ribose 5 phosphate donor in the sixth reaction by decarboxylation uridine monophosphate is formed from omp orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and omp decarboxylase these are also a bifunctional enzyme and in the seventh reaction udp is formed from ump it is atp dependent reaction catalyzed by kinase now this udp is precursor for other uh, like utp and ctp uh, from the utp ctp is formed by the action of enzyme ctp synthetase where glutamine is the amino group donor then from this udp deoxy udp deoxy ump can be formed and by the action of enzyme thymidylate synthetase deoxy tmp is formed where the n5 n10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is the methyl group donor if there is defect in either or both of the enzyme orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and omp decarboxylase it leads to the condition called as orotic aciduria methotrexate can act as a anti cancer drug it inhibits the enzyme dehydrofolate reductase and thus ultimately it inhibits thymidylate synthetase and uh, inhibits the formation of dna azouridine is also anti cancer drug which inhibits omp decarboxylase 5-fluorouracil can also competitively inhibit thymidylate synthetase the enzyme that is dihydroorotate dehydrogenase it is the fmn containing protein and is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane and this is the only protein which is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane while all other enzymes are cytosolic so that's all about today's topic that is pyrimidine biosynthesis i hope this video uh, will be useful to you thank you for watching and happy learning